Hi there, we're here at um, Imperial Court Condos. As you can see, this is the front of the building. Uh, you have your own assigned parking space. Parking space four is right here. You got one, one assigned parking space. Couldn't ask for a better location because this is the sidewalk and there is the front door right there. So it's a first floor condo, one bedroom, one bath. Uh, we'll just zoom around here. We've only got a couple people who are here right now. It's, it's in the afternoon, so everybody's at work. It is a nice quiet complex though. Um, you can see the main road, which is Belcher, which is out here. So you're a ways off the road, but super close to get to everywhere that you need. Um, these are just businesses that are here. Uh, directly across the street to the left, there's Big Lots and a Greek restaurant and, and a few other things that might be helpful. And then there's a couple of restaurants down the road. This is a great location because it's, it's close to the highways, it's close to the bridges. You can get to the airports quickly. Um, and there's plenty of shopping and dining and the beach is about eh, 10 or 15 minutes away depending on traffic. But let's go inside and I'll show you the condo and then I'll take you out back so you can see the grounds. Okay, so this is a view from the front door. So it's a living and dining room combo. And then the previous owners had taken out the sliding glass door so that they could include this back room. It's like an extra little office area. You can use it for whatever you'd like. But again, here is the dining area. There's seating for four. Living room, furniture in the living room is new. Um, the couch is a pull-out couch, so there's a bed there if you have guests. It, uh, I'm fairly certain it has never ever been used. Uh, TV's included. You just need to hook up your own cable and Wi-Fi, but I've got the companies for you for that. Um, right off the front door, you've got another utility closet. Vacuum's already here, so you don't have to bring anything like that. The previous owners left some painting and things like that, not stuff that you would need, so if you wanted me to get rid of that, I could. Um, if you think it might come in handy while you're here, I'll leave it, totally up to you. The kitchen is a small galley style kitchen. So basically you've got your sink, countertops, cabinets. Some are empty, some are not. Um, there are dishes that are here. So as you can see, so there you go. Dinner plates, things like that. Um, there aren't many glasses, just a few cups, but lots of coffee cups as well. Um, pots and pans are all here. A few little baking dishes, things like that. Um, like I said, coffee cups, a couple of wine glasses, um, stove and oven, okay, fridge, okay, there we go, and then you also have a little pantry too, so there's lots of storage. For being a one bedroom, one bath, you've got a lot of storage. Um, pots and pans for cooking, and then you've got all the shelving to keep whatever you wanted. The only thing this one is missing is a dishwasher, which I wish it had. Um, let's come on around the corner. You can see here is the bathroom. Again, there are some linens that are here. You may want to run across the street and grab a few more, whatever it is that makes you comfy and feel at home. Um, there are some extra blankets and things like that that look like they go for the bed on the couch. Okay, so like I said, there's not a whole lot here as far as towels and washcloths, but luckily that's an inexpensive purchase. Sink with cabinets, toilet, shower. It's not fancy, but it's in good shape. It's nice and clean. Water pressure is good here, so that's always a plus. 
no, no issues with that. Okay, and the bedroom is a really good size. This is a, what is that, a queen size bed. There's definitely room in here for a king. Dressers and side tables are here. And then you have two big closets. This first closet here does house the water heater. Uh, and then the AC where you can put the filters. So we'll get filters for you and then at your convenience you can just replace them once a month. While you're here, again, nice big closet. The only carpet here is in this bedroom. Again, it's nice and clean. And another big closet. That's just some extra flooring. Okay, so again, lots of storage for you. Nothing you have to do with that. That just goes to the outside uh, AC unit. And you can see from the bedroom, you can see the pool. Open this. So we'll take you out there. The blinds function nicely so you can close them for privacy but everything is out there. That's That little green building houses the uh, laundry facility, and then on the other side of it is where all the um, trash and recycling are, and we'll head out that way too. Um, this is just a little extra area. At one point in time, it was a closed-in patio. I think it's much more effective as an extra space to use it for whatever you wanted. Um, you can open the doors and all the windows and have it open air, and couple chairs out here um, but it is a nice little workspace if you ever have to work from home but if you come out the back door this walks right back out to the pool so you're only steps away it's nice and quiet inside because the windows have been updated so you don't get a lot of noise but everything is right out here for you so we'll go through Shuffleboard courts, yeah, I don't know, know that they really get used, but <laughs> they're here if you still want to play. Okay, I'll go into the pool area. Okay, there we go. This is a pool area. It's a really big pool area. They keep the grounds meticulously maintained. That's the one thing I really love about this place. Um, it's a really big pool. It's a little cold out for us Floridians, so we're not going to have too many people swimming in the pool right now. Um, however, it is heated. And then as we turn around, you can see this is your door. The roof on this building has recently been replaced. I think it was last year. Not that you'd have to worry about that being on the first floor anyway, but just want to make sure I don't miss anything. There are restrooms out here for your use. There, everything is always locked, so you have to take your keys with you and come to the pool so that you can access all of these. They just want to keep it secure since it's not a gated community. We don't want anybody hanging around here who doesn't actually live here. Okay. Mailbox is nice and convenient. Mailbox number four is yours. And then around here, just the dumpsters and the recycling there in the middle and those blue bins. So super easy to just come on out and drop everything off. This is just the utility closet. Oh, they're replacing floors over there. Sorry about the noise. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'm just trying to get into the... Um, laundry room for you so you can see that it is coin laundry but there are three washers three dryers and so you can see that here I believe it's a dollar a uh, dollar fifty a load which isn't too bad but again everything is kept really clean it smells good all the machines are in proper working order and again, this, this door stays locked as well. We don't want anybody coming in who doesn't live here. Okay, that pretty much sums up the property. 
Um, there are buildings all the way around, six buildings in total. Um, but like I said, it's it's quiet. The neighbors that I've met have all been super nice. Most of them are younger to middle-aged working, working folks, a couple of retirees. You have a neighbor, Dan, who lives next door in Unit 3. He's really, really nice. Anything you might need or want, he, he's super friendly. And we'll come back on inside. Okay, AC is new as well. I have it serviced yearly, and I had it serviced just a couple of months ago. Um, but as the owner, if there's you know ever any issue, you just call me, and I will get everything taken care of immediately. So that concludes our tour. All right, I will talk to you soon. Thank you.